We often get the question of what, what can we do for saving seeds? People want to you know, start growing their own, raising their own seeds, or they just don't want to purchase them from a catalog anymore. Well, there's quite a few options that you can use. Generally, this is going to work the best for a lot of our annual crops. So we have some lettuce plants here. We also have some bean plants. Then they've reached a certain point where those seeds are mature. We can then save them and use them for the following year. Once we have the mature seeds, we're going to want to make sure that they stay in a dry, cool place that's away from moisture. So that way they are good to go for the following spring. Once your seeds have matured, you'll want to use a paper sack for some of those seeds that still might be a little bit wet, so they'll fully dry out. Other seeds, like this lettuce behind me, you can use a plastic bag like this one and simply put them in the bag. It's also a really good idea to write on the bag what seeds they are and when they are collected, so you'll have future reference. We also want to make sure that we probably use those seeds the following year. We don't want to try and save them for 20 years down the road or something like that. There are lots of different options you have for seed saving. Some seeds are easier to collect than others. Do your own experimenting to see what will work best for you and your vegetable production. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, and you're watching From the Ground Up.